Good morning, people. I just landed in your town. Welcome to the podcast that kills horny teenagers in their sleep. Hashtag, Hashtag just saying. Because it's Friday the 13th. Yes, it is. It is. And Sean, Sean, I, I am Tara. And I am Jason Voorhees. Uh, Sean, <laughs> Sean has on a Jason mask. I wonder why. Cause, uh, well, I don't know. Because <laughs> why not? So if you want to... Um, when you're done listening to the audio version of this, if you want to flip over, we have uh, we record uh, the podcast for YouTube as well. You can watch Sean in his Jason mask. Damn I'm right. just I'm just me. <laughs> I'm wearing the mask I wear every day. <laughs> <laughs> Things are falling. One of gratification. I see that. There we oh, go. There you go. Oh, let me explain to you what happened to me today. Go right ahead. Yes. Now, <clears throat> my work is still laying people off. Okay? It's tragic. It's tragic. Not only tragic, but stressful. Because everybody's... Every, tragedy! Because everybody's like, who's going to be next? Right? <clears throat> so... <clears throat> I know. So, here's the thing. So, all week, it's been kind of stressful. Ah, don't poke it with a stick. All week has been kind of stressful, and I finally made it to today. Now, we got a long weekend coming up, because in Massachusetts, this coming Monday, is Patriots Day. A.K.A. Marathon Monday. Yes, it's the day they run the Boston Marathon. A lot of people have the day off. Some people have to work. We don't... Yeah, we have one of the lucky few who have the day off, so thumbs up. So, it was a long weekend, so uh, we, we were kind of slow all morning. Now, I went to lunch. <clears throat> I came back from lunch. Well, here's the thing. Everybody knows I don't go to lunch. I go out to my car, okay? Mm -hmm. And I take a nap because I deserve it. Because I deserve it, frankly. <laughs> <coughs> I was fighting that way. Give it, give it a few. When it's longer, it's easier to find. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. My back up. Okay. Uh -huh. But I can't hear uh -huh. anything. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Hello. Okay. If you have one down. That's. Well, it shouldn't have been down. There we go. Oh, my God. Okay. So, excuse me. So, um, I went out to my car, and I took my nap. I set an alarm because I'm afraid I will oversleep. Because Now, I haven't been sleeping great lately. Um, because of that damn bronchitis. Well, no, it's not even so much that. It's just, um... It, it happens sometimes. You just, I just have trouble sleeping. So, it is what it is. Now, so I passed out. So, when I woke up, I turned my phone back on. Because I put it on airplane mode while I'm sleeping. And I had two texts. Both from my supervisor. One text says, They're, they're letting two people go. <clears throat> And the very next text is, you can go home. No, something like, how, something like that. How are you supposed to take a text like that? I wrote back, like all in caps. <laughs> no! What? <laughs> <laughs> Let me try halls. Otherwise, They're I'm still ain't sponsoring us. They should. Otherwise, I'm going to have a long day. Okay. I wrote back, like, all in caps, like, what? Uh? Yeah. And before she could answer me, I was already inside. And I was already, like, at her cubicle. 
And I'm like, what's going on? And she goes, oh, well, we're slow. So they're letting two people go. And I was like, uh, okay. And she goes, yeah. And then she goes, she told me to draw two names out of a hat. <laughs> she said, but I just picked you. And I'm like, wait, what? And now, now, in my mind, I'm thinking, am I getting laid off? <laughs> Which version of you can go are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, w w what? So she goes, well, this person can't go home because they don't have a ride. Uh, this person carpooled with somebody else, so they can't go. Um, she goes, you're the only one left. <laughs> By default. By default, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm default let go. <laughs> so, she goes, so Gee, you can, thanks. So you can go. And I said, and I'm just staring at her. And I'm like, okay. And she goes, so, have a good weekend. Have a good everything. And I was like, okay. And she goes... And now it's like awkward, and I'm just staring at her, and I said, do I come back on Monday? <laughs> I'm sorry, do I come back on Tuesday? And she goes, yes. <laughs> Why would you say that? I said, I don't know, because you said they were letting two people go. And she said, well, I meant go home for the day. But that's not what you said. Be a little more specific. You said they're letting two people go, go home. She said, well, that's not what I meant. I said, but that's not what you said. So she goes, you can just go. <laughs> God, I sound like I'm dying. I might be. Good. So I said, okay, well, I'll, I'll go. And then she goes, you know, and then I kind of was like, oh, because I literally had just come back from lunch and they're telling me go. And I said, well, kind of wish I knew that before I went to lunch. And then she says the following and I was like, oh my God. She said, well, you know, Tara, I walked over to your car and knocked on your window. She said, and... You were passed out. She goes, you opened up your eyes for a minute and they kind of rolled back in your head. <laughs> she said, and then you just went back to sleep. And I was like, really? Because I'm a really light sleeper, so I am so shocked that I didn't hear her banging on my window. <laughs> <coughs> I was going to try to hold that one back. But... That would have been hard. <coughs> God, this is working out like it was earlier this week. Yep. Every other thing. All right. So I said, well, I'm sorry. And then she said, yeah. And the girl that walked over with her to my car was like, is Tara okay? <laughs> and like, what if she doesn't wake up? I said, no, no, no. I always set my alarm for just such an emergency. She said, well, I did try to tell you that you could just go instead of having you come back inside to find out you had to leave. Uh, something tells me she didn't go up to your window and go. I no. feel like she went. <laughs> yeah, like tippy, tippy, tippy. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly didn't hear her. Kind of like on uh, Return of the Jedi when uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 yeah. go up to the door of the Jabba's palace. Mm -hmm. And 3PO just kind of goes tap, tap, tap. Oh, yeah. there seems to be nobody here. Let's no. go back to Master Luke. <laughs> we tried. We tried. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that, that all went down. But I do know I didn't wake up. So I'm fine. I was just like, well... I had to come in to get uh, to shut my computer down and turn into the work that I did do. I said, so it's fine. It's fine. And then I left. It was like 2.20. I said, okay. 
<laughs> I'll go home. 40 minutes sooner than I got to go home. Well. As I work through lunch to leave at 3. I am sorry about that, but these opportunities do not um, come to me often. From a so, distance. Yeah. So I have to be um, appreciative when they do. So I, yes. was, I was out of there. I was just I was just happy they were like, yeah, you can come back on Tuesday. Yeah, that was a good part, too. Oh, and then I said, um, she was kind of like giving me a hard time. She's like, I can't believe you thought that I was going to tell you you were fired over text. And I was like, actually, actually, actually? I would have appreciated the heads up. <laughs> I was like, I thought you were warning me they're letting two people go. And I said, and then I was mentally prepared when I came back in. I said, we need to do this. I said, if you hear rumblings, you got to tell me. And she's like, I never get told anything. I said, well, if you hear anything, you got to tell me. Because that's how we're doing this. Hopefully you don't hear anything. Well, I, yeah. I suppose. I don't know. I'm just... Yeah, it's like I've sp I've spent like two weeks like being like oh my god about it, and I'm just over it now. Well, I always find if a situation is coming up, no, if you worry about it, mm -hmm. most of the time it's gonna turn out fine. That you didn't have to worry in the first place. Yeah, most of the time, yeah. But then if you're like, eh, I'm not worried. Well, karma's gonna bite your ass, and <laughs> you should have worried. Yeah. Well, I, I'm just over freaking out about it. So I said, um, I'm just, I'm just gonna let it happen. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. My, uh, my resume is updated, so I have that going for me. Message. Yeah. So I'm ready. I know, I know what's gonna happen. I suspected it would happen near the end of the year. I suspected going into the next year, they would wipe out my whole department. But mm. so, I mean, I. I have an inkling. So it's just, I guess, a matter of when instead of if. Mm. But that's my life. <laughs> well, what can I do? Did the car trouble or worry at work? Oh! And then my check engine light was on for two days. Oh, I hate that damn light. And shut off all by itself. Yay! I was like, oh. I said, I'm getting handed miracles here. Mine was on earlier this week. Was it? My car's been making the rattling noise. And I drive a Chevy Equinox 2010. Yeah. Those have oil valve problems. Oh. And it kind of takes a little more oil than it should. Mm-hmm. And last time I had them checked out and had the valves replaced. No. They would tell me I have, like, dirty oil going through it. And that's what's no. causing those crap to happen no so it was happening again recently but i wasn't too sure if it's the oil thing again mm -hmm. i kind of let it go a little longer than i normally would have and i was starting to think maybe it's a fan belt issue could be something else no and the engine light's been on for a couple days which was driving me crazy <laughs> that's that's a very concerning light because you don't know what the fuck's going on. Right. And I have an idea for that. Okay. But let me, uh, My dad told me to put a sticker over it. <laughs> a little smiley face sticker. Yeah. He goes, Tara, put a sticker over it. Um, after I put four quarts of oil in the car, mm -hmm. the car wasn't making the noise. It's driving smoothly. And the next time I turned the car back on, the engine light was off. Fair enough. I was like, Yes. <laughs> You got handed a gift? I don't have to bring the car to the shop and get like a 200 and something dollar bill. Oh, God. That's the thing. It's always so damn expensive. Yeah. I mean, it's like they charge you uh, like $85 in labor. Mm-hmm. At least. Yeah. Oh, the pots are only, you know, two of these for like $35. Mm-hmm. And then it's the labor. No. Yeah. That kicks your butt. No. Yeah. So something that should have been like one fifty ended up costing you three hundred. Yep. Like damn it. But my thought is, they're doing all this technology with cars. Yeah. 
why don't they try and make some kind of a system where the car almost talks to you like Kid on Knight Rider <laughs> and tells you what is wrong with the car? Because people are stupid. <laughs> Not <would> you people. <laughs> Not you people listening or watching. You people are clearly brilliant. E I'm talking about other people. Those other people. You know what other people I'm talking about. You see them. You deal with them. You know those other people. No, I think they should start making cars that will tell you what the problem is. So no. you don't have to guess. You don't have to bring it in and have it looked at. And they'll say, well, this is the problem. But you're going to need this done soon. You're going to need that done soon. This I hate This could that. be replaced now, but it can wait another month. <laughs> So let me write up your estimate. So it's this long. Oh. Coming out to like $926 or something. Oh, Lord. Oh, I'm, it's too much. I'm just here for this one problem. I don't want to hear about the others. I didn't know I had so many problems. Mm-hmm. I thought I was problem free. <laughs> Clearly I'm wrong. So let's stop making some technology here that the car talks to us and says, this is what's wrong or this is what needs attention. <laughs> Don't give us this engine light shit anymore. Sean, my gasket's broken. Please take me to the shop. No. <laughs> See? <laughs> I was doing good till you hit me with a no. No. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> no. No. But that would be God. a lot better for all of us. Yeah, I get it. Stop giving us cars like, all right, we're going to make these seats heated to warm up your bum. I would love a warm bum. <laughs> well, have some gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a little mini fridge in here for you so you can put beverages in there, keep them cold. No. No, we don't need that. I suppose not. I want something that will act like Kit and practically tell me what's going on with the car. <coughs> God, I'm dying. Sorry. I want something like Kit that's going to just tell me what is wrong. Just I Simple. I understand. I don't know what to say. I don't know either. I got... Because... I'm that person. So oh, wow. I already got... Oh, my tickets to Infinity War. take care of that War. person right now. Ah! I already got my Infinity War tickets. To the Marvel's Infinity War. Yes, I did! <laughs> right. I already got my tickets. Got them like four days ago. I'm ready to roll. Let's rock. Yeah. Uh, comes out in a couple of weeks. What? <laughs> yes. Until then, to occupy my time. <laughs> the new um, God of War video game comes out. Ooh. I think next Friday. So. <laughs> Today would have been a better day. Yeah, it would have been because I got out early. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is Friday the thirteenth. No. Nah. So. I'm surprised they didn't try to plan on making another Friday the 13th movie and have it come out today. Um, I was going to say there's no scary movies out. People are oh, really? people are talking about one of them. It's probably because there's only one of them. No. Nah. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Something about quiet. A quiet place? That's that quiet. Might be, that might be it. That's something to do with quiet. I don't know. It sounds like a perfect movie to go to. <laughs> It's very quiet in here. Oh, well, I'm sure it's going to be more quiet on the screen than it is with the idiots around you. Apparently it's like, from what I hear, it's like stunning the audience and everybody's quiet throughout the whole movie. I don't know what it's about, though. Stephen King likes it. He was like, this is the future. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about that. But you say what you want, Stephen. The movie's going to be so quiet, you're going to see a lot of people in the in the crowd doing this. Ah! Mm -hmm. On their cell phone? Yeah. 
I paid a lot of more money for this ticket. Um, nothing annoys me more than like seeing cell phone people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah. I can't stand it. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of gross. It is. Hmm. Okay. What bugs me the most is yeah. Um. They always say shh. Um, turn off your cell phones and all that Let's stuff. Let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Get ourselves a treat. Yum. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they tell you to turn off your cell phones and all that, but no one comes in the place to uh, enforce it. No, not really. You gotta like go and complain. Yeah, you gotta get up. I know, that's the you problem, too. the movie. Oh, so you know what happened? The last movie I saw was Black Panther. And they started um, to do those stupid... The thing they do the, before the previews where they show commercials and do I stupid shit. Sk- Me too. Me See, too. The cell phones are cars. Yeah. I don't need either. Or it's stupid music. <laughs> like the one, like the theater that I go to, they're like, oh, so-and-so has a hit right now and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I can come here to hear about her stupid song. Exactly. That just makes me want to take my machete, stand up, and say, fuck you! Okay, Sean's angry. Turn it off! Turn it off. So... I'm just trying to entertain the video. I see. <laughs> so, the thing about that is, is that, like, it started, and we had sound, but we had no picture, and Jay and I were doing this big debate, like, should we go say something? And then Jay's like, well, I don't want to... Because the theater we were at, we had, like, luxury, like, seats. They were nice. So Jay was already... It makes you want to bring a pillow and go to sleep. Well, he was reclined, because they recline. So he goes, I'm reclined. I can't get up. <laughs> and I said, okay, um, there's nothing I can do, because I don't want to. <laughs> and then I said, well, we could just literally call the theater from inside the theater. <laughs> and be like, hey, we're in the theater, and it's we don't see anything. And then he goes, well, let's just wait, and if previews start and we still don't see anything, then we'll say something. I said, okay. But the by the time the preview started, we had, we had visual, we had visual. <laughs> so I was, I was like, okay, fine. So at first, it's like listening to the radio in the old days. I know. If I want to do that, I'd do that. <laughs> I'm not here to see a radio drama. Exactly. Keep your radio mysteries. But at the same time, you can just close your eyes and lay back in that seat. Well, I suppose I could have, but apparently I could fall asleep. I didn't even know I fell asleep. <laughs> That's how life works, apparently. Hmm. So do you have anything? <clears throat> I probably do. I probably do. It's kind of buried underneath my stuff. I took him by surprise. I should have told him prior. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, I got some stuff if he doesn't have any stuff. Don't worry, we got stuff for you guys. We always got stuff. We're not, uh, we're not, we're not, we're not coming with nothing to the table here. <laughs> we were ready. Well, one of us was ready. Yep, one of us wasn't thinking. Swear. One of us wasn't thinking ahead. Oh, we're just thinking a little more ahead about being entertaining with this mask on. I see. And this machete, which I'm sure will fall down again on the floor. Right on. Now, one of the things I have here yep. is, something, is a list that I started doing probably two weeks ago and said we'll, we'll finish last week. Ah! Well, guess what? We didn't. Well, that's because <laughs> we move on to other things sometimes. Now, if I guess remember what the title of this was. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously, is it? Something about sequels that shouldn't have been made or something? I want to say yes. I am awesome. So, let's say it's that. Yes! <laughs> That's what we're going with. So, we're kind of... Continue. Crappy sequels. Yeah, we'll continue with that. All right. Hannibal, 2001. Most of the blame rests on the writer, Thomas Harris, mm-hmm. and his source of material for this disappointing sequel to The Silence of the Lambs. Jodie Foster bailed on reprising her Oscar-winning role as Clarice. Clary, hello, Clarice. 
Nice. <laughs> but Anthony Hopkins was more than game to romance the new Clarice. Played by Julianne Moore. You know why? Because Anthony is a professional and he said, pay me. And they said, okay. Well, that and if you're a big fan of the movie. No. You don't really want to see someone else playing the, the villain. Nah, probably not. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. That's like for Elm Street fans. Yeah. Nobody can really see anybody but Robert Englund playing Freddy. Yeah. Because we're so used to it over all the years. Oh, I told Jay about how um, Kevin Bacon wants to play it, and he was absolutely disgusted. Bacon! He was like, no. Ham! Canadian Bacon! <laughs> Which is ham! <laughs> yes! So. All right, next. Men in Black 2. Oh! They want to reboot that. Oh, no. Yes, with Chris Helmsworth and somebody no, else. No. Yes. Don't do it. We make those faces, too, if we were in this messy <laughs> sequel that all but craps on the first film's effortless way to entertain. The third movie is slightly more forgettable. I didn't even know they did a third movie. I didn't care. <laughs> the only thing about Men in Black that I liked... It was Will Smith's song. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I never fair cared enough. to watch the movies. That's fair. Next, The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Re Revolutions. They should have not done any more than one of those movies. Nope. Because what went wrong? A kick-ass action film got not one, but two talky sequels where the fight scenes became robotic and boring. And the less said about the Zion rave... The better. Okay. Blade Trinity in 2004. Oh, God. Those Blade movies. They want to uh, reboot those, too. But Wesley <laughs> wants to do it. Well, it's like it's not a reboot if yeah. you do it. Right. It's more of a continuation. Yeah. Uh, loved Dominic Purcell on Prison Break, but he makes one of the worst Draculas ever in the sequel... That focuses more on newcomers Ryan Reynolds and Jessica Biel than Blade himself, Wesley Snipes. Yes. Uh, next, The Chronicles of Riddick, Ew. 2003. Vin Diesel broke out with the smart, stripped-down sci-fi suspense film Pitch Black. Ignoring everything that made the first film work, this sequel is a bloated, boring mess. Oh! <laughs> you are a bloated, boring mess. And here's one that I definitely agree. Son of the Mask. Ah, yes. In 2005. A decade after the original Jim Carrey hit, Jamie Kennedy dons a mask and runs afoul of Loki. No, not Tom Hiddleston, but Ellen Cumming. Aw. Eh. Cumming. <laughs> well, bet most of you didn't know that this box office bomb existed. Honestly, I did not. Sadly, I knew. Sadly, I knew. <laughs> Basic Instinct 2 in 2006. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Which I can see why that would suck too, because I think Basic Instinct 1 was like 1997 or something. I think so. It was 90s, definitely. Why wait nine years to do a damn sequel? That's dumb. I have no idea why anybody does anything, Sean. Sharon Stone worked for years to get the sequel to the enjoyably trashy 1992 sensational Sensation Made. And the result, to quote the AV Club, as a showcase for Sharon Stone's physique, Basic Instinct 2 is a rousing success. In every other respect, it's a colossal failure. Oh, fail! Yes! Epic fail! 2006, X-Men The Last Stand. Ooh. <laughs> 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 it was your fault. Well, I think with X Men, we can get your opinions. Oh, hooray! Let's do it. If you're going to be killing off beloved main characters, Brett, quote, Rush Hour, Ratner is not the guy you want handling things. This film worked out about as well as is awkwardly posed, or is that just badly photoshopped? 
publicity shot. Yeah. Whatever. And stuff. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Oh, I thought everybody loved all those movies. I thought so, too. Hmm. I like the way uh, Johnny Depp does that. Which is the pirate um, that we referred to on the Johnny Depp episode. Yes. Pirate and Sheets. <laughs> the first sequel to a franchise no one expected to ever be a thing carried a lot of expectations. Sadly, very few of them were met. Bloated and boring. Captain Jeez. Jack, <laughs> Captain Jack's second adventure is as drunk on CG as he is on rum. Yes. This movie has its fans and they scare us. <laughs> okay. This scares you. Right here. You gotta watch the video for that. <laughs> Evan Almighty in 2007. Yes, Steve Carell stole Bruce Almighty. <clears throat> but let's just agree to avoid movies about building an arc, shall we? Let's. All right. Moving on. Spider-Man 3. Oh! Spider-Man Don't Dance. Spider-Man, don't dance. That's that. <laughs> I love it. Spider-Man, don't dance. He should have just run around saying that. That would have been great. That was just embarrassing as hell. Ah. And shouldn't be a rule book about too many villains clogging up the machinery. I'm guessing those were the. Uh, that was the last of the. Um, Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans. Yep. Which I liked. No, they were good. I enjoyed them over the Amazing Spider-Man. No, I didn't really. I didn't like that guy. He rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know. Insert Tara Joe. Just here. how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm, you know, it's all right. Well, it doesn't help too that some of them they add a little more up to date with uh, him as a teenager. No. Yeah. It's a little hard to watch Spider-Man stand on the top of a building with a fucking cell phone in his hand. Come on. Leave the, leave the cell phones out of it. Okay. I don't... I'm not anti-cell phone, but Spider-Man don't dance. <laughs> and he doesn't use a cell phone. <laughs> I don't, he might need to. I don't know. He's got to call Aunt May. <laughs> got to get bread, uh, bread and milk. <laughs> Loaf of bread, container milk, a <laughs> stick of butter. And don't be late. Hmm. Uh, let's see. The X Files. I want to believe in 2008. Oh, I want to believe this movie didn't exist. <laughs> Much like the TV revival of this beloved cult show, this second film was a mixed bag that was, to be honest, mostly bad. Oh, all bad. Hmm. Terminator Salvation, 2009. Ugh. Christian Bale joining the franchise. <laughs> Son of a Christian should have bailed. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm gonna have to do the joke all over again. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop saying it again. All right. Christian Bale joining the franchise sounded like a great idea. Christian should have bailed. Ah, oh true. God. Unfortunately, what we got was this tepid film. Tepid. <laughs> Wow. That was nowhere as interesting as Bale's epic onset rant. Oh, that's the movie. You guys, do you remember that? Christian Bale yelled at like an, an, a sound guy or something. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. He got in a lot of trouble for that. Joe? Well, not, not trouble, but everybody thought he was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you're going to love this one. Every Transformers sequel. Oh! How do these movies keep being made? Because people go see them. Who is paying to see these? People! At least Shia LaBeouf has moved on. Yeah, because they made him move on. He was on a talk show last night. Was he really? I was about to turn the TV off. And they said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> The lackluster way that you said that was hilarious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this fucking guy. 
That's exactly what it sounded like to my ear. This fucking guy. crazy guy. Yeah. Did he have a paper bag over his head? No. He, he was actually dressed nice. And, yeah. Uh, his beard was a little trimmed, so he looked good. Like, okay. Like he's trying to be normal again. Uh. Sex in the City 2. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> a shrill, unfunny <clears throat> coda to the HBO series that kind of made us hate the characters we used to love. Enough. Ooh. Oh. You like this one? Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. They just don't like the Pirates of the Caribbean, do they? No. I've never really seen them, so I can't. I can't judge. I think I've seen the first two. <laughs> you heard that, huh? Yep. I was trying so hard. Sometimes those, you can't hold them. Oh, God. Mermaids shoot seaweed spiderwebs. Oh, my God. Like Spider-Man. Why, you ask? Because reasons. Because reasons? <laughs> I love it. Because bad movie. Oh. This misfire of a sequel, which somehow made a billion dollars, should come with trigger warnings and 100% less bad puns than the one pictured, which I didn't print the picture of. Oh, Sean, you have asked. <laughs> See, that proves. <laughs> I don't read what I print out. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> these are just to copy. Well, these ones here, I just do copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay. So I can get them to look like this. The Dark Knight Rises. Oh, God, yes. We, are, we were all excited for the final Chris Nolan Batman film. And what did we get? Shit. We <laughs> got a bowl of shit. Ew. A nasty, stinky bowl of shit. Ew. A mumbling villain, uh, parentheses, who was all too dispatched. Okay. Yes, there's a word there, and I can't read it. Unceremoniously. I'm Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying! That was so fucking funny. <laughs> After I finish this one, you want to restart? Do I want to? No. Will I? Yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Joseph Gordon Levitt magically knowing Bruce Wayne's alter ego and stupid plot points for days. All of the police head into the sewers. All of them? Hmm. It has its fans, but we were bitterly disappointed. I thought it was like, it was so, it was over two hours. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind when a movie is long. Mm -hmm. As long as it like, doesn't make you feel like you're sitting there that long. Right. Like Scarface is over two, a little over two hours long, but it feels like it's only an hour. Right. You know, because it's so, there's a lot going on and blah, blah, blah. This fucking thing, <laughs> I felt every single minute of it. I was looking at the clock going, Jesus Christ. I did like Heath, Heath Ledger's uh, Joker, though. Yeah, but he wasn't in it. I know. But it's a Dark Knight series. Well, I know. I'm just saying. He, could, he couldn't say this. To me, it was, was awful. To me, that was the best part of the series. Oh, it was, it was awful. <laughs> Surprise, I'm here. <laughs> For the video. Sean decided to take his mask off, so he might sound a little different. Might sound better, I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know if it's a little uh, muffled or whatever with the mask on. I was keeping an eye on it. You, you, your levels were good. Jeez, I might have to put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> put it on, put it on! <laughs> the Hangover Part 3. I've never seen any of these films. Good, don't. Oh my god! We so did not need to go back to that same well for a third going around. That's it. <laughs> okay. Short and to the point. I love it. Yep. 
Star Trek Into Darkness 2013. Yeah. Con! <laughs> Instead of keeping the true identity of John Harrison under wraps, they should have kept this movie a secret never to be seen. It all but ruined the goodwill of the great 2009 film with its confounding plot involving fiery firing exactly 72 photon torpedoes on the Klingon home world because reasons. Because reasons. I love it. <laughs> uh, 2016 Zoolander 2. Oh. <laughs> I'm, you know what? This this list might seem a little mean, but they are they're accurate with this. Yes. All these movies are turds. Uh, we waited 15 years for this tired rehash. All the celebrity cameos in the world didn't help. Nope, but I didn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Bourne, 2016. The original Bourne trilogy was a breath of fresh air for the spy movie gender, serving mm -hmm. as a hip, edgy alternative to the James Bond series. Sadly... <laughs> Mr. Bowen was looking pretty long in the. That's weird. Looking pretty long in the tooth himself. Yeah. By the time the fifth movie rolled around, Jason Bowen <laughs> failed to innovate in the same way its predecessors did, and suggests it's time to put these secret agents out to the pasture. Get out there. Sounds like they want to old yellow them. <laughs> oh my God, that's nasty. <sighs> And lastly, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, which I never heard of. I've never heard of it, and there's no date next to it. Is this even a thing? No. I thought Jack Reacher was a um, uh, character. Yeah. We appreciate Tom Cruise's commitment to making Jack Reacher every bit the beloved Hollywood tough guy Ethan, Ethan Hunt is. But whatever promise the original film might have had was pretty much squandered in this by the numbers type of sequel. They are other better outlets. If we want to catch crews, run around, and glower, which does make sense to me, for two hours. I see. <laughs> you made it. Yay. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Friday. Yay, thanks. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try to get through this as best I can. You should have something on dock just in case I can. Oh. What do I got for you guys? Oh, this is great. What were you thinking about the last time you showered? That is the best place to do your thinking. Isn't it, though? Yes. I actually... We had to... Um, we had to do this thing at my job, you guys. Oh, my God. That's, there's nothing like making people beg for their employment, right? So I do this thing. We had to come up with a work goal, how we're going to achieve that goal, and a time frame we're going to achieve that goal. Right? No. No. So I just sat there, and I'm like, really? Really? Really, though? So I couldn't think of anything, and I actually asked my supervisor if I could go home and shower. So that I could try to come up with something. Because I do my best thinking in the shower. That's when I come up with everything. It's like a thinking chamber. It is. Well, I mean, you're isolated. You have only the water. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what everybody else does in the shower, so. You're by yourself. Mm. You and your thoughts. That's right. So here we go. What was the last time you were thinking about? What uh, was the last thing you were thinking about when you showered? My shower gel has sea salt minerals, which makes me feel like a roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I think about the meaning of life, the universe, its size, the human condition. Other times I amuse myself by cupping my hands against my chest and pooling water so I can drop it all at once. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be hard. You should say the last part again. I'm going to do the last line again. Right. <coughs> oh, God, this is going to kill me. Okay. 
by cupping my hands against my chest, pulling the water so I can drop it all at once to make a big splash. <laughs> I have imaginary conversations that will never transpire in real life. <laughs> Been there. I watch Netflix in the shower. Don't judge me. Okay. I w I'd like to know how without having to see you in it. <laughs> Whoever wrote that. I don't know. How much I hate my job. <laughs> We've all been there, son. Well, that's definitely on your mind when you get up in the morning. Yep. If I turn this handle back half a millimeter, it should finally be the perfect temperature. I turn the handle two-thirds of a millimeter, water rises a million degrees, and fuck. <laughs> uh, I wish I could do that. But yeah. With mine, you got to pretty much have it all the way up. Yeah. And it's nice and hot for like ten minutes. Oh, God. Um, all the units in my building... Share a ventilator shaft that has a window shaft. onto each unit's bathroom. Unit. Sound carries very well. well. So last time I showered, I was thinking, did my neighbor just say no to my singing? <laughs> yes. Probably. Probably. Yes. Probably. Shut up. <laughs> it's so early in the morning, I literally have zero thoughts. <laughs> I understand. I'm, I'm with you. I have that for about 15 minutes after I wake up. <laughs> Hang on. Because <coughs> I know the next thing's going to make me cough anyway. Oh, shit. I know. <laughs> Just trying to get it out of the way. All right. Is today the day I finally poop in the shower? <laughs> no. Perhaps tomorrow. <laughs> I like how they're planning their life. Perhaps tomorrow. Poop in the shower? I guess. I I don't I'm not here to judge, Sean. It's hard to get that shit off you. <laughs> oh, literally, little shit. <laughs> I have an ongoing story in my head that has been playing out since I was fifteen. It only progresses when I am showering or trying to fall asleep. I actually get really excited when I'm about to sleep or shower so I can progress the story. <laughs> I also find it kind of sad how I would prefer to daydream about a story I made up instead of living my life. Okay. Well, it's your life. You live it how you see fit. I need to buy more shampoo. <laughs> the only time I notice I need shampoo is when I'm in the shower. <laughs> That's when it hits me. Like, oh, next time I go shopping, I should really buy shampoo. And then I forget. And then I'm in the shower. Like, I can get one more shower out of this shampoo. It also helps if you get a bottle that's clear. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose. I use yeah. Pantene. <laughs> you can see that from a distance. From a distance. <laughs> In order from the morning. Uh, I don't know what that makes it. In order of this morning? I don't know. Some the, order. This is their, their thoughts and the thought order in the morning. So here we go. Fuck, it's early. <laughs> Fuck, I can't even keep my eyes open. Fuck, did I just get shampoo in my eye? Yeah, I did. Fuck. Fuck, how long have I been in here? I need to get to work. <laughs> a few more minutes won't hurt, and I sit down. Fuck, my back hurts. Why does my back hurt? Fuck, it's early. <laughs> Fuck, I need to get to work. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck, I think you should call out. I, I promise I didn't write that, but I probably could have. <laughs> because that's almost my morning every morning. And who hasn't thought of it anyway? Exactly. I used to shower in mornings before school, before I came to the realization that, as someone who was not a morning person, this is a terrible idea. Falling back asleep in the shower several times also doesn't help. <laughs> Showering before bed is so much better and a great way to start winding your mind before bed. Also, I can drag my ass out of bed, wash, change, and be on my way to work in under 15 minutes in the morning. I shower before bed. It's relaxing. No. Yeah. I'll shower in the morning, I think, and then in the morning, miss my alarm, jump out of bed with only 30 minutes to get to work, rush out of the house and show up to work without showering for the third time this week. Phew. You need... <laughs> <laughs> Half of these are your fault. That's not me. Some of them are you. 
That was good though. Pew. All right. I I I agree. Pew. I was thinking about how I really need to scrub the bath because the water in here is as limey as a British pirate. <laughs> is Jack Sparrow staying over? Applause for that joke. <laughs> oh, you'll dig this. Can I spit as high as Triple H? Let's find <laughs> out. It's time to play the game. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Why didn't I poop first? <laughs> it's a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're coughing. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have trouble with poop. Uh, it's fair. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, my eyes are watering under here. Okay, you started showering at 5.15. That gives you 10 minutes to be done. Clear your nostrils. Shampoo your head. Soap the face and body. Should be at about 5.20 now. Stand and inhale steam to hopefully break up the nastiness in your sinuses. Wonder how you feel like you got less than an hour of sleep and eight hours of bed. Remember the really trippy dream you had and keep waking up, uh, kept waking up from? Realize it's probably now 5.25 and now you're going to be late for work. Rinse off. Shut off the water. Grab the towel. Check the time. 5.24. I'm fucking winning. <laughs> Good job. Must be Charlie Sheen's schedule. I hope there's enough hot water. I hope there's enough hot water. I hope there's enough hot water. Fuck. Because <laughs> 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 that goes in line with what you were saying. I guess there isn't. That goes right in line with what you were saying. <laughs> I wonder if I can twerk better than my wife. <laughs> in the shower? Uh, oh, you're by yourself. That's good practice. Damn, I need a haircut. What should I do with all this foam, though? Spike up my hair and give myself a mohawk? <laughs> Shit, it's later than I thought. I gotta get to work. No time for the mohawk. No. I really hope my wife... Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do this. This one's kind of gross. I don't care. Nice. It's because I'm sick. I really hope my wife plays with my balls after I do, <laughs> after I do all this trimming and shaving. Oh. Well, I hope he wasn't disappointed. Oh. My voice sounds like Johnny Cash when I sing in here, and I dislike <laughs> most country songs. I really don't want to get out of here. It's warm in here. My apartment is so cold. I know that feeling. Oh, I know, right? My house is very chilly a lot. Uh, oh, boy. I thought about how I know the squares of 1 to 16 by heart <laughs> due to multiplication tables from elementary school. Hmm. And I wondered if I could easily do the squares up to 100. Ended up being in the shower for close to half an hour because of it. <laughs> But God damn it, no one can claim that I can't do rudimentary multiplication. <laughs> I got something for that after. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, I just, I knew the next one was going to make me laugh, so I thought I'd try to cough first. I got something for that one, though. That okay. Just did. <sighs> Sounds like he needs, uh, like, a dry erase board for tiles. Oh, that'd be good. You can just... Mm -hmm. Oh, thinking about how clouds are just giant marshmallows in the sky. <laughs> S'mores! And what would it be like if they were nougat instead? Ooh! Mm. Doing the time math, trying to convince myself I won't be late, and that it's okay to avoid facing the horrible eventuality of getting out and being cold. <laughs> I know. And last, I should probably put curtains in my bathroom window. <laughs> You probably should. Depends what your body looks like. Well, you know, <clears throat> there's decency. <laughs> so those are our show thoughts. We would love to hear more. <laughs> Any of our listeners have shower thoughts? Guess what you can do? You can write to us Ooh. at the word hashtag just saying podcast at gmail.com or... You can write to us on Facebook. 
Ooh. Hashtag just saying. Or, or. Ooh, no, you right. can write to us on Instagram. Hashtag just saying. Look at all those things. So many ways to get us. There is so many things. And I bet there's a lot more stories out there than that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I just... My mind usually wanders when I'm in the shower. <laughs> I mean, it's just whatever. <clears throat> Sometimes I'm thinking about shit I have to do. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I'm like, oh, how long have I been in here? Not long enough. My, uh, my hot water level tells me when it's done. <laughs> so your house... <coughs> 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 God damn it! Yeah. Oh man. Well, we're almost done. Almost there. So your house just tells you when to get out. Pretty much. Nice. I go in there, play on, take a nice <laughs> twenty-minute, fifteen-minute hot shower. Yeah. I have enough hot water that lasts me maybe f almost ten minutes. Yeah. That's too short. No. What I like to do is shampoo my hair. And while it's sitting there, like on Loaded Weapon 1 with, uh, what's his face at, um, played Sarge, Proctor. Sarge, it's tingling! <laughs> yeah, that played Proctor on Police Academy. Yeah. So, I'll soap up while that's cleaning my hair. Then I'll rinse off. And at that point, I just want to stand under the water. It's nice. For like 10 minutes. I'm like, oh... <laughs> I got my hand behind my back, <laughs> turning up the heat every little bit. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. I have to take a hot shower. Like, hot. My, my hot water is better during the summer. For some reason. Yeah. Why is that? That's I, weird. My house is weird. <laughs> it's screwed up. It's like backwards land. It sucks. I understand. Before we have the shower redone. Yeah. You know, the commercial that you could just put a whole new shower over the other one yeah was it bathroom fitters yeah before we had that done the hot water was amazing hmm. but now they got certain restrictions and it has to be set at a certain level oh you could fix that so you can't burn yourself or you know if you have kids you don't have to worry about them burning themselves no i don't have that and <laughs> the guy had to fix it by law sure he did Fuck your law. Ah, <laughs> fuck your laws. I want hot water. <laughs> Tab and I don't have kids, but we want hot water, damn it. Yeah, you can just fix it yourself. Just go down and boop. Turn that dial. Mm. Get yourself a hot shower. It's lit. <laughs> oh, I just heard something today. Did you? I did. What did you hear? <sighs> um, you know Huey Lewis. Not personally, but you know of him. Of course. He had to cancel his entire tour schedule this year. Well, why? Because he is, like, deaf. Huh? Yes. Something has happened to his hearing. He can't hear, so he can't sing. Apparently, he's gone to, like, three different clinics... And they can't fix it. It's like Meniere's disease or something. Ooh. Yeah, which actually my dad has, and he's <clears throat> deaf in one ear. Huh? Yeah. So. <clears throat> I don't know. So he's like, I, you know, I can't sing, so I'm going to have to cancel the shows. And he's like, I'm wicked, wicked sorry. And um, he was like, Hopefully, I'll get it fixed in tour next year. <clears throat> so, I'm glad I let you go with that because I was going to say, okay, he can't hear well. No. But, uh... <laughs> 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 and it's time for another cough drop. <laughs> yes. You That's should see Sean. He's like, he can't hear well. You're yeah. singing. But he can't He can't hear the music. He's he, been singing these songs for like 40 but fucking he can, years. You need musical cues. He needs to know when he's supposed to come in 
and sing the power love. He can't hear anything. He can't hear. Give, give. He can. He said he can barely hear if somebody's standing next to him talking. Most of them can't when they're singing the concert. I know. <laughs> Set up monitors on the floor right in front of them. Oh my god. Sean just like, you better get out there and do your do your thing. <laughs> You've been singing Power of Love since eighty five. You know how it goes. Yeah. You and your band don't know exactly what what spots to hit what and do what. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do what. Yeah. Do the do what? What? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> Do you uh have anything else you'd like to share with everybody or no? Yeah, right here. <laughs> All right. Coincidentally, right in front of me. Excellent. Let me let me Yeah. Let me clear my throat first. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh Jesus, that hurts so bad. I just want you guys to know watching the video. Every time you see me cough, it's like fucking razor blades. It hurts so bad. So if it's annoying to you, it, it's annoying and painful for me. Yes. What can I do? <clears throat> so, Just so we're clear. <laughs> now, the list I did a little while ago mm -hmm. had to do with like horrible sequels. Okay. This one... Movies you can't believe never got a sequel. <laughs> okay, so movies that should have had a sequel. Or could have, but didn't. Okay. Started off with E.T. The yeah. Extraterrestrial. Yeah, I mean, I suppose. Not entertainment tonight this time. <laughs> they could have had, like, E.T. go home and, like, <laughs> like, hey, and all the other aliens make fun of them. We got no end of Jurassic Park movies, but Steven Spielberg never brought back this adorable alien. The closet thing to a sequel, the 1985 book E.T., The Book of the Green Planet. Written. <laughs> I've never heard of this fucking book. I haven't either. Written by the guy who, the film's novel novelization. And that awful Atari game. <laughs> that goddamn Atari game. It will live suck. in infamy as, like, the worst game ever. And the worst thing that could happen always happens. You get stuck in a hole, and you can't oh, get yeah. out. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's like life. There was a script for a sequel, but it never came to be. Okay. Well, fuck you, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure with E.T. and a sequel, even if it's done by Steven... And the director of the first one would have been good. Maybe. Especially if they did it like maybe a couple of years after that. Because you know damn well if they do it now, he's going to be all CGI. Yeah. And that's going to suck ass. <laughs> sure. Uh, next is Dread. Oh, God. Let's see. <laughs> Judge Dread? Yep. Oh. Uh... Fans have clamored for more dread. Why? I don't know. You guys know. Yeah, but the poor box office returns of the Carl Urban star meant that never likely ha is to happen. Perhaps a prequel about villainous drug lord Mama. Next week, if I had this cough, taking Mucinex 15 minutes before the show. Take something. Oh, God. This is awful. NyQuil. Well, I'll just be asleep. Oh, well, that would be fun. Okay. Ready? I think so. The Breakfast Club. No. No, 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 no. John Hughes was keen... To have the characters meet up ten years after the original. No! He wanted to avoid horrendous makeup, so he planned to wait until 1994 to start production. Sadly, the idea stalled. Why? Good! Well, one reason being the huge bust-up between Hughes and Judd Nelson. Oh, I didn't know they had a 
fight. I didn't either. I thought he had a thing with Molly Ringwald. No, well, I did hear she became a fucking snob and douche. <laughs> <laughs> she became a snob and a douche, Sean. That's why her allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Hashtag allegedly. I'm not saying. I'm just telling you what I heard. All right. Twins. The shitty Danny DeVito movie? Yes. Oh, my God. Arnold Schwarzenegger hmm. has rarely met a sequel he hasn't liked. Oh, my. He's a sequel whore. But a twins follow-up never happened. Because the studio, quote, didn't believe in it until now. Earlier this year, he announced that Triplets, co-star in Eddie Murphy, may start shooting in fall of 2017, which makes that history. It's <laughs> 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 a good show. You're killing me. You are killing me with this shit. Supposedly, they were thinking about shooting last fall. I don't know if they're in works now or not. I'm surprised they haven't tried to reboot with Kevin Hart. <laughs> Who knows? He never stops working. Year ain't over yet. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Oh, okay. Hang on one second. That movie had a natural conclusion. Yes. There was no cliffhanger at all. No. We don't need a sequel. No. All right, then. Yes. We agree. No. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Zemeckis announced the sequel almost immediately after the first film became a smash hit, and then it never materialized. Good. Last year, Zemeckis told Slash Film not to hold our breath, saying, quote, the current corporate Disney culture has no interest in Roger, and they certainly don't like Jessica Rabbit at all. Oh, it's because she was too shapely. Too booby. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that was the best feature of her. <laughs> <sighs> Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, get out of here. What happened to Ferris when he grew up? Matthew Broderick wasn't really interested in making the sequel to this 80s hit. But he did play a grown-up Ferris... A 2012 Super Bowl ad. Yes, he did. We also got Alan Ruck, who was Cameron, in the recent Let Ferris inspired Domino's Cameron Pizza ad. Go. <laughs> Mia Sarah, where are you at? She is married to Brian Hansen. Too bad for her. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, too bad for her? She gets all that Muppet money. Look out, Muppets. <laughs> Kill Bill. Billy? Oh, whoa, 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 Kill Bill had parts one and two. Yep. So they're saying there should have been a third. I guess. No, because that movie, again, had a natural conclusion. She killed Bill. Good for her. That's what she wanted to do. She got it done. Spoiler alert, but the movie's like four years old. In 2015... Quentin Tarantino said he was considering the idea of bringing back Beatrix Kiddo, Uma Thurman. Even though she already killed Bill in Volume 2, he told Variety, quote, I wouldn't be surprised if the bride made one more appearance. I am talking to Irma about it just a little bit. Some of the stuff that I've written had never made it into the movie that maybe I could use. <laughs> now, rumors indicate that this idea and the scenes for that script have found their way into his new film revolving around the Manson murders. What? I don't have a clue. Okay. <laughs> That's strange. Lastly for that, Elf. What? <laughs> Seriously? Although Will Ferrell says he's been asked and begged and prodded to do a sequel, he's nixed the idea of revisiting Buddy the Elf. As he told IGN, 
Ironically, while promoting Zoolander 2, he's happily he's happy leaving Buddy where he is. Um, quick thing. He was recently in a car accident. Yes, I was going to say, Sean and I are recording this on Friday, Friday the 13th, obviously, we said at the beginning. Uh, Will Ferrell was in a car accident today. Apparently it was a very serious one, but he's okay. He's hospitalized, but he's okay, and they heard his car rolled. Yeah. Uh, the next thing I have on the same paper. On the same paper. <laughs> Movie sequels that bombed at the box office. We fucking hate sequels today. <laughs> this is the podcast that sequels forgot. This is something like that. Speed 2 Cruise Control. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Keanu Reeves wisely turned out on this disastrous, ill-conceived Speed 2 Cruise Control in which Sandra Bullock... Uh, Sandra Bullock's cruise ship is hijacked by nut job William Defoe. <laughs> William Defoe is a nut job just in general. I didn't call him a nut job. It's right here. Black Allegedly. Nut. It still made a boatload of money, but its 48 million U.S. box office was nothing compared to the 1995 original's 121 million. Fair. Dirty Dancing, Havana Nights. Oh. I thought that was a bad idea myself. More of a reimagining than a proper sequel to the only Dirty Dancing, Savannah Heights, had in common with the 87 original was, well, Dirty Dancing! Dancing. <laughs> Patrick Swayze had a small role as a dance teacher, but we rather just queue up the first film again. It easily and measly made $14 million to the original's nearly $64 million. Take that, you bastard. <laughs> Mannequin 2 on the move. <coughs> I'll say it again. <coughs> Sorry, I was fighting that bone back. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. Mannequin 2 on the move. Electric Boogaloo. We're not saying that Mannequin was great, but it was a whole lot better than this lame-ass sequel. Oh, this... nothing's going to stop us now. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I started liking that song. Oh, okay. This time, the Mannequin is future vampire slayer Chrissy Swanson, and the guy who falls in love with her is William Ragsdale of the 90s sitcom Herman's Head. Oh, Herman's Head! It earned three point seven million, a fraction of the original's forty two point seven million. Hmm. Basic Instinct Two. All that trick book. Troubled sequel, Basic Instinct Two, was more than a decade in the making. Due to the lawsuits and difficulty of finding an actor willing to make take the lead after Michael Douglas opt out. The film earned four Razzies. <laughs> And Sharon Stone's breasts were nominated for Worst Screen Couple. Oh, God! It made Epic! Only, it made only $5.97 million. Oh, Woof. wow. Woof. Indeed. Machete Kills. <gasps> no! Machete was awesome! <laughs> Danny Terrio was back for more slicing and dicing, but audiences didn't line up for a second go-around. Machete Kills. Machete Kills was good. Despite the addition of Mel Gibson as a villain, Lady Gaga as the assassin, and Sofia Vergara's machine gun... Brazier? Brazier. Bra. Have a nice day. Boobs! <laughs> it made only $8 million, down from the first film's $26 million. It was still a good movie. That was still a good movie. The next, I stand by that. The next Karate Kid. Oh. To me, they shouldn't have done this. They should have stopped the Karate Kid 3. Mm-hmm. After three Karate Kid movies with Ralph Macchio, audiences turned a cold shoulder to reboot the next Karate Kid with then-unknown Hilary Swank as Pat Morita's newest pupil. They earned merely $8 million compared to the $90 million and $150 million hauls of the first two Karate Kid films. Oh, dear. Sin City, a dame to kill for. 
Okay. Despite its stellar cast, including Eva Green and Joseph Gordon Levitt, Sin City, A Day in the Kill For, the sequel's 2005 Sin City, was a box office bomb, earning only back half of its $65 million budget. Whether it had been too long between films, which is usually what happens, yeah. or was simply too much of the same, the sequel crashed and burned. Boo! My Girl 2. Everyone was back for the sequel to My Girl in 1991. Well, not Macaulay Culkin, of course. <laughs> the magic wasn't there for the second time around. Critical reception to My Girl 2 was tepid. And the sequel took in only $17 million compared to the first film's $59 million. A third film was ruined for years until star Anna Chumsley finally confirmed it was never going to happen. Well, that's because they re uh, because Macaulay opted out. Yeah. The kid that took his spot is a kid from uh, the Schwarzenegger film. What the hell is it called? Terminator? No. I don't know. Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I, I don't no, know. Not you, me. <laughs> Last Action Hero. Oh, okay. I never would have got that. I'm glad it came to my head because that would bug me if I couldn't get it. Two more. Jaws of Revenge. Oh, the worst movie ever. Boo! You damn shark. Ah. A Jaws without Steven Spielberg was already a bad idea. But Jaws 2... At least had Roy Schneider. By the fourth film, Jaws of Revenge, the franchise had become a joke. Even worse, star Michael Caine missed winning his first Oscar because he was busy filming this flop. At least, <laughs> at least it inspired him to just say no to crappy movies. Jaws of Revenge took in $20 million compared to the first film's massive $260 million U.S. box office. Take that, Jaws of Revenge, you Dumb movie. Oh, God. Hang on a second. There we go. Last on the list, Grease 2. Daisy, come on. Grease, 1978, was a mega hit. Getting $188 million. With a killer soundtrack to go along with it. But its tone-deaf sequel was even hated by its own studio. Come on, Daisy. Michelle Pfeiffer recovered with an acclaimed turn in Scarface. Come on. Good for her. Yes. But the movie did no favors to actor Maxwell Caulfield. You may know him best as Tacky Rex Manning from the Empire Records. Nope. <laughs> I don't know you, sir. Grease 2 earned just $15 million. Ouch. Oh, that's what they get. Leave the classic alone. That sucks. Take that, bitch. You have something else? Oh, uh, what? Do you have anything else, or how is this going down? Um. I'm sure at least 15 minutes of that is this. <laughs> I don't think there's that much. 10? Maybe 3 or 4? <laughs> Hit me! No, no. The thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, <that> bitch! <laughs> bitch! Oh gosh. Um. Ooh. No, there's no way I can get through this. Uh, so I'll do that next week. Oh. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us again. If you get to listen to I us... I stopped talking so Sean could say something. Yeah, I started talking and then you're done. Next. <laughs> I was going to say, if you can listen to this quick enough and still have the rest of the Friday the 13th night... Go watch my movies. <laughs> start, with, start with part two. But you don't see this face until part three. Okay. I'd start with part three. Fuck two. Well, you know the the video probably won't be up until like two days from now. So good, 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 
Um, so you can watch the uh, video on YouTube whenever it is we get that up. YouTube. We also have location videos. You can check those out. Yay! Um, oh, my God. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. You can do all that stuff mm. with the uh, with the podcast. If we made you laugh. I hope so. Uh, well, I hope so, too. But I mean, tell hell, us. I made her laugh. Many you times. did. We did. Um, tell, a, tell a friend. Wake a friend and phone a neighbor. I don't give a shit. Okay. Smack him in the face and wake him up and say, hey, listen to this fucking podcast. Yes. Listen to this. It's better than sleep. Well, tell him that you'll send Jason Voorhees after him. Yeah. Um, Bitch. Try not to think of us in the shower. <laughs> and why, meanwhile, you're in the shower. Ooh. That came out weird. It's fine. I'm going to shut up. That's a perfect time for me to shut up so that Sean can tell you something. Thank you so much. Come back next week. Hopefully I won't sound this awful. Hopefully. I'm doing my best. What can I do? Well, we're going to make her drink some NyQuil. Oh. <laughs> Be drunk on camera. Have a good Friday the 13th. If you still listen to us during the Friday the 13th. <clears throat> I myself don't consider it the next day until you wake up, so. I do that too. Screw that 12 o'clock. It's the next day shit. And have a good everything. Bitch.